Hi folks, Robbie here, I'm in our farm. Hey, I got this, uh, this mare just showed up. She's a stray, got loose in the neighborhood somewhere. She's been with us a couple of days. And uh, so I figured I, uh, I'd clean her up a little bit, uh, trim her feet, maybe warm her. Uh, I'm gonna keep her for a couple of days and see if the owner shows up. We put the we put the word out. We called the sheriff. Uh, went down to the local store. Put up a flyer there. Uh, went through the neighborhood. Kind of let everybody know around here that we've got this horse. So so far nobody showed up, and we've had her since Wednesday. So uh, if they don't show up here pretty quick, uh, she's gonna she's gonna get a new home somewhere. You can see she's got a lot of bite marks. Uh, she got in with the geldings, and uh, they basically. Uh, Give her a welcome home party, so. She should be okay, but you know, she is a mare. So I am a little bit careful around her. I don't know if she kicks or bites or. But she ties. She's obviously been trimmed before. So we'll see how that goes. So uh, I got the big mare to handle this mare. So maybe hey. we can get something done now. Hey. As you can see in this hey. whole video, she there. pretty much fought hey, me on, on the whole process oh. of this trim job. Uh, every every aspect of it, you know, she she just fought me. It's you know she wasn't scared or uh, you know flighty. Oh. She was just uh, very annoyed, and uh, which kind of tells me that she's pretty spoiled usually gets what she wants um i'd say on a scale of one to ten she's you know for badness you know ten being the worst she's probably a five uh just because you know if you if you took the time to you know really work with this mare and uh, work on her feet you know she would she would come around uh she doesn't have any major issues that would require more extreme measures to get her trim so you know, just it just you know, she did wear me out. You know, when I was done with her, I was I was pretty tired. But uh, no, she's uh, you can tell just by her eyes and her, her facial expression, she's just extremely annoyed and and uh, doesn't want any part of it. But you know that it should be a good note, you know, to horse owners because you would really have trouble finding a farrier that would would trim a horse like this. Um, and if you did, he's probably going to charge you quite a bit of money. And uh, so it would behoove you as a horse owner to uh, make sure your horse is a good citizen when, uh, when the farrier shows up. I also want to point out that uh, if, you, uh, if you can, it's always good, especially on a horse like this, uh, is to have somebody else there with you to, to distract them at the head. Um, so they can't turn around and bite you and nuzzle you and, and uh, you know, just it, just just somebody to hold the horse and distract them. I tried uh, doing her by myself at the very beginning and, and she wasn't having any of that. She's a mar. Yeah. Yeah. She's a girl. See, this is where you definitely don't want to reach down here, grab her foot. You see how she kicked out? Yeah. So yeah, you just, you basically want to you know, if she does kick out, she's gonna hit you here, here, and not in the head. So get her lift her foot, get that hand hold like I told you. Yeah. And then take her forward. Uh, yeah. Okay. It's high. It's high for a little horse. Good girl. Good girl. There you go. Yeah. 
Now this uh, right front foot here had a real long uh, toe flare on it and it was really thick and really hard and I wasn't even able to get through it with my nippers from the underside. So I had to bring her forward because uh, I needed to break that that loose on, on top just so I could get her back and get her trimmed properly. Uh, I'm kind of thinking because that, that foot was so long that uh, whoever was trimming her before uh, probably gave up on it because she's she was battling you know pretty good all the way through this but <clears throat> I was able to get that uh, get that broke off on the front part and then I was able to take her under and, and get her a get her a proper proper trim on that on that foot um, yeah you could tell just look at the look on her eye and look at her face you know she's just extremely annoyed uh, she's not scared she's not being mean you know she just uh, she's just She's just annoyed and, and uh, she don't want to play. You know, she's constantly pulling on me, you know, the whole time I'm working on her feet. You know, she did that all the way through, and it's it's uh, it's really, really exhausting, you know. And you're trying to get, you know, work done as fast as you can before she does finally take her foot back. But I will say one thing, you know, it, had she been a bigger, stronger horse, uh, th there's probably no way I'd have been able to trim her, you know, without foot ropes and and uh you know another guy um but luckily you know we were able to get this get this horse done and and um it, you know it was just a little sweat and a little perseverance and a lot of patience and uh, we can get through that All in all, a successful trim. Nobody got hurt. Mary got a good experience. I got a little exercise. So yeah, it was all around uh, a pretty decent experience. That's it for this one. We'll see ya.